Martinez. So, uh, interview of Mike Martinez uh, in the last week. Mike Martinez is 3-0. He holds a title in another uh, promotion in the amateur level down on Long Island. And uh, when he went down there watching his fight, you know, he's not just a, a fighter. This, this is a kid who, you know, never played sports in his career. He was telling me in his interview, he was a big video game guy. He used to just eat, so, dr eat you know, Twinkies and drink soda and what, play video games. And one day he was just like, you know, I got to go to the gym, was introduced to the guys at Atlas Jiu-Jitsu. And he said, before you know it, he's like, this has become my lifestyle now. And now he, he's a guy that, you know, this is all he does. He sees a career for himself. He's only 20 years old. His opponent's 32. He's, he's 12 years the younger. So, you know, this, this kid's got a bright future. He's 3-0. His opponent, I believe, is, uh, I want to say, 4-3. Uh, and three. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But this should be a great fight. He told me a little bit of his strategy. He's a guy who loves to get you down with a quick judo throw. He was saying how he'd never been in a wrestling room or anything like that in high school, never an athlete in high school. You know, he was introduced to it, fell in love with wrestling, and he practiced it till he, he perfected his craft. That's the best and, way to do it. And he said he just kept doing it, doing it, doing it, after practice, after practice, just kept working on it. Now here he is, and he's going to be fighting for the uh, – Bantamweight title fight, which is 135 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mike Martinez. Now, his opponent, Nico uh, Sithi, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, and I apologize. But he uh, he's 32 years old of age, and he he's coming in with you know, several fights under his belt. Now, Mike Martinez's striking coach is Kenny Pompey. Okay. His brother was a professional boxer for years. Okay. And Kenny, Kenny, I believe, is a third degree blan uh, black belt in uh, karate. Okay. And let me tell you, his opponent right now is pretty amped up as he's coming in. Mike Martinez was informing me during our interview, our phone interview, because he's upstate down on Long Island. It's Savat, by the way, not the French martial art, not yeah, not yeah. I just had to remember that. So, okay. And uh, Martinez was saying he was more nervous for the interview than he was the fight itself. So he's, he's a focused young man. His opponent looks pretty focused and amped up and ready to get in there. I, I'm curious to see how this goes. I'm, I'm really interested in this fight. To me, both of these, both of these, both these fighters are unknown to me. So, I mean, it, it, it'd be nice. I mean, Mike, Mike looks a little focused. He's stare, staring, at his, staring his opponent down. Well, let me tell you this. I, you know, I've been covering Long Island MMA for about three years now after coming from Wisconsin. And Mike Martinez came down to Long Island and beat up someone from uh, UFC Jim Staten Island, um, Irvin uh, Averbunk, who is – a top fighter down there, and he's ranked high on my uh, my MMA news amateur Again, fighters. Great sportsmanship. So I, I'm I'm amped for this fight. He's got some tie shorts on. I'm liking that. And he's a tall, lanky fighter. 135 pound title fight. This should be a a, a fast paced fight. Oh, definitely. This I don't see. You know, I don't see this fight getting out of the. You know. Going, going to the judges, but you never Brown know when he's going nuts. Well, I, I hear Martinez is a hot ticket. Co-main event was introduced to us by the ring announcer, uh, Alexius Phoenix, the uh, head official of this evening, brings him into the center of the cage. And these two fighters, look at them. They are focused. Oh, and nice Great handshake. Yeah, definitely. And, and that's, so many people I overlook that. Yeah. I love it. 
No, they're going to touch gloves, see that? Yeah, they talk beforehand, they agree. Touch gloves, and they're off. Oh, and this is what he told me he was going to do. He's going to bring him to the cage and look for a takedown, and then go from there. Got that leg right and he, he did what he said he's going to do. I told you. Yeah, Mike Martinez. No, great control right there against the cage. You know, you know why his hips were tight. That's when yeah. he, he got that takedown. With said, he's got, said he's got his, his uh, left leg wrapped up pretty tight. I don't think he's going to be able to pull full guard. No, I don't think so either. Uh, or, I'm sorry, getting the full mount. Sethi is uh, doing a good job holding his leg there. But you know, Martinez is moving. He's not standing still. He, yeah, said he's not. Brings him up the cage. He wasn't allowing him to posture up at all. But you know what I'm loving right now is the oh, fact look, that Martinez is that. moving. He he's transitioning. And now he is right. Yeah, like you said, full mount. He said he said he's a big submission guy. He does have two submissions of his, in his victory and a split decision. Crowd is chanting his name. Looks like he's trying to single that arm out. There it is. Possibly. He might have left a little too early oh. with that arm bar. Oh, he doesn't have it. Yeah, he lost that yeah, before. Yeah. He he didn't have the arm when he rolled over. But a good job adjusting, no? Yeah. yeah he doesn't have adjusting. it. He's adjusting. Looks like he's trying to get in a triangle. But he doesn't have it locked in yet. He's got to get that heel underneath his knee. He's trying. You know, he's working hard pulling that head down. And he helps himself by and pulling his foot behind his almost, knee. Almost. It's not in tight yet. And he's taking some shots to the head, but he's just working through it. Good if, control if, by if Martinez. He, oh, and tapped, a big tap. Woo. Martinez, 4-0. Oh. Wow. Yeah, very impressive by the 20-year-old. 20, 20 years old, just beat a 32-year-old in MMA. Someone who has about three or four fights more than him. And he, he, he showed some, uh, uh, some skill right there. Mike Martinez with the big win in the cage wars. Looks like he was looking for a camera to. Yeah, he wanted to yell into the camera. I don't blame him. He deserves to yell into one after that, that victory. As we have the state assemblymen probably marching back in there to hand off another belt. Great support for the, uh, the uh, local MMA shows. So we're rocking and rolling, and this crowd is loud. It this is. crowd is loud. Martinez moves, oh, and his cup just fell, <laughs> fell out of his shorts. <laughs> I've seen that once before, though, during a fight. You made your cup too big. Uh, yeah, that, the poor kid, kid happened to him twice. One more, he was done. As the the uh, belt enters the ring around the uh, ring girl, Brittany. the official decision by ring announcer Tom Kilkenny. Does she Kevin. realize she's supposed to take that off and give it to the fighter? She I can't keep it? don't think so. Mike Good Martinez job. at a, uh, 1 minute and nine, uh, 49 seconds with the arm triangle. F improves the 4-0. and oh. He was telling me in our interview that he looks to go pro in the next uh, year or so in 2018. So he's I on his road. I, yeah, you know, kid's got a bright future. We, we need to grab him. I'm, I'm going to grab him and we're going to get an interview with him. So, you know, that was impressive. Impressive win. I'm going to... Uh I'm gonna put my headset down so I can grab him when he comes out of the cage. As he's taking the uh, traditional ring photos with his Mike. team and the uh, ring girls. Martinez, you want an interview? Here. The fighter. Yes. You know, he he told me he's like. I don't want to give too much away, which I understand. Most fighters want to do that in an interview. But he told me, I'm, I'm going to get him against the cage, I'm going to take him down, and then I'm going to either submit him or, or knock him out. And he did exactly that. Impressive. I, I was, was so phenomenal. impressed by this. You know, he, my rankings after this weekend, he's jumping to the top. Yeah. I don't see how he can. Hey. Mike, I want you 
sounds good to us. So we're being joined right now by Mike Martinez. I want to uh, start off first by uh, congratulating him. We're over here on the camera being streamed on FullCombat.com. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. Um, impressive victory. I interviewed you earlier in the week, Mike. You told I got me. it wrong. That <laughs> was impressive. You put him right against the cage. You brought him down. You know, how do you do it so? How are you so successful? You know, executing. My team. First of all, what's up, Flow Combat? Next, my team. My coach Ed. My coach John Haynes, my Cody Kenny Pompey, they beat the shit out of me every day. This guy wouldn't do nothing. Proved it. So uh, you had this win, you improved the 4 0, your second amateur title. What's next for you? Keep racking up the wins, eventually go pro someday. And, you know, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Anything else you want to uh, let the fans know? That, I, there's not much to say. That was just impressive. Thank you, Team Atlas. Thank you, Catskill Nine Round. The new Cage Warriors Bantamweight title. Yes, Congratulations sir. to Mike Martinez. Thank you very much. 